Getting people excited about a city all over again usually starts with places to eat. I mean, like, Coach's Corner was one of the first places we heard about and we still haven't gone. I know. I'm gonna eat too much. I can feel it. I can't wait. I'm Heather Norton. And I'm Paul Norton, and we are the owners of Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner is a family restaurant. <laughs> Hi, ladies, how's everything tonight? <laughs> we try to provide a little something for everybody. If you like salads, we've got salads. If you like burgers, we've got burgers. It's a, a place where people come, of course, to, to have some really good wings. They have live bands sometimes, and it's sitting there on the river. In every small town, you have that one staple restaurant. Coach's Corner is that restaurant for Wetumpka, where we can go in on any given day and have a great meal. Heather and I have had the restaurant for four, four years. years. In July? Now. The work we put in, the time, it's nonstop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But when you see all the people in here, it's a great feeling. Heather and Paul are amazing people. When a big tornado hit Wetumpka a few years ago, they fed the volunteers hundreds of people. They fed them. These are the people we want to lift up. These are the people who make a difference. Their restaurant is one of the most popular places in town and it's it overlooks the river. the river. And it's not just for people in Wetumpka. Coach's Corner should be the thing that draws people here from outside of Wetumpka. So they've got that balcony or patio. And they said they don't even use it. We're gonna surprise Paul and Heather with a renovation of the exterior and the patio at their restaurant. Coach's Corner at Pie is a mess. Yeah, it looks rough. Hey! Hello. Welcome Hello. to Cage's Corner! We well, haven't we... gotten to come in yet! Yeah, hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey! Hey, we appreciate what y'all doing for the town. We We're just having fun. I want to know about these wings. Man, they're wonderful. You need to try Man. them. I want all of it. Well, there's a big menu, so... Yeah, it looks pretty big. In here, y'all have done an incredible job with this. I don't You've know... got a real vibe going. Welcome to Wetumpka. Thank Coach's you. Corner. I mean, this view... Is breathtaking. Yes. yes. It really is. Best view in the city. Nobody sits outside? Well, in the summertime. Too hot. There's about two months out of the year that we can actually see people out there. Because it's either too hot or too cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We think we should really focus on, like, making the exterior really shine. Ben, would you like to tell them? We're going to renovate Coach's Corner. No way. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, God. This is awesome. <laughs> Very. Yeah. This renovation is going to change our lives. There is no other restaurant on the Coosa River. This is going to put Coach's Corner and Wetumpka on the map. Hey, everybody. Finn and Aaron are going to do a renovation on Coach's Corner. Y'all will be able to sit out there instead yeah. of in here. <laughs> like We're a ride at the fair. I'm about to get the C. There's one. There's, there's a C. one. Coming on. Right. Here we go. Come on with it. Make it in your truck. Go, 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 go. That's not even close. We're finally losing the really bad logo. That one across the top was. Go long. That's it. There it is. You did it. Nothing but truck bed. The inside of Coach's Corner is great. Looks just like you want your family sports restaurant to look. The outside looks like the former grocery store that it was. We had this huge blank expanse. And I thought it'd be fun to go kitschy. I think the color scheme makes sense to be bold, to be colorful, to be playful. Sporty. Sporty, yeah. You know what the batting strips remind me of? It's the stripes on a football field. Yes. The patio is going to be breathtaking. Paul and Heather understand that their most valuable real estate is not being used, and that's the patio. So we have to figure out a way to enclose that. It may sound like, why are they closing up the patio? Well, we're not. You can still see out, and the windows will open, so you still get the open air. Big Ben. What do you say? What do you say, man? Today, I'm at Neil's workshop. I want to make a cypress bar top for Coach's Corner. So the plan is we're going to take some of this Alabama cypress. And what I want to do is make the live edge bar that'll match the river. 
We need 72 feet of length. We can do that. A lot of wood. You think this will be you. enough? Yeah, we can make it work. Crank this thing. We're going to make some noise and some dust. In order to cut slabs big enough for what I want to pull off, you have to have a sawmill. Dang! It ain't even struggling. You made a slab, man. I need one of these. What Ben and Aaron are doing here, the things that's going on with this town, it's amazing to us. Man, I'm just excited because I can't wait to be in that restaurant, eating at that bar, looking at the river, knowing, you know, that I was a little piece of that. Dude, that's pretty. That's pretty stuff. You like it? I think it's super cool. I love it. I think that we should claim it. Coach's Corner, home of the longest bar top in the state of Alabama. And we'll let someone else come prove us wrong. Yeah. Yo, Ben. What up? What's up, man? I just got to Wetumpka, Alabama. I'm in love with this town already. It reminds me exactly of the small town I grew up in in Georgia, America's Georgia, which is not too far from here, by the way. I'm Eddie Jackson, former pro football player, next Food Network star winner, and barbecue fanatic. Are you ready for some barbecue? Let's go! So Ben and Aaron wanted me to come in and put my little spin on a menu item for Coach's Corner. Have you thought about what you're gonna add to the menu? I'm gonna put a new burger with a little bit of a twist. All right, dude. Can't wait to try that burger. All right, now talk soon. See ya. Bye. Hey! Hey, What's up? Eddie, how you doing? Hey, What's Eddie. going on? Now, doing all right? Doing Sorry about yourself. I'm doing good. I got to tell you, when I heard Ben and Aaron were renovating Wetumpka, Alabama, and they had a family-owned sports bar, I had to come in. So you guys are doing like a grand reopening, so I figured, hmm, maybe I can put something on the menu to wow the customers when they come back in. Awesome. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, yeah. right? Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Y'all ready to make a burger? Let's eat. Let's get going. I'm ready to eat a burger. We're going to be making a cheeseburger with fried green tomatoes. We're going to make a slaw, and the dressing for the slaw is going to be Alabama white sauce. You guys know a little bit about Alabama white sauce, right? We do. Absolutely. I mean, when you think barbecue sauce, you immediately think ketchup or like tomato sauce as a base. Right. But in Alabama white sauce, we're talking about mayo as a base. When I heard Paul and Heather's story, it resonated with me. You know, tornado comes through, and they're on the front lines helping the community. If I can do something special for them for their grand reopening, then <laughs> that makes me happy. It's always nice to add something new. Chef Eddie coming up with a new menu item is perfect. Ben and Aaron and HGTV doing the makeover, we're going to pull in people from outside of Wetumpka. It's going to bring a larger group in. And with the patio, we can accommodate them and we're gonna have a new burger. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of Monterey Jack. You want something that can bring some life to the party. My mouth is already watering. It's not just any burger. I have to take into account where I'm at, who's gonna be eating the burger. We're in Alabama. I didn't come in here and was like, hey, I'm gonna do a foie gras burger. And like, what? That's there picture perfect. It. My double burger with fried green tomatoes and Alabama white sauce coleslaw. Save some for me. I didn't waste any time. I want to try. I jumped right in on that burger. It was delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is awesome, Eddie. Really <laughs> it is so really good. Awesome. It is. You got a little something right there. There you go. Is that a little slobber? <laughs> I think it's going to be great. If people really like something new, I think it'll go over really well. It's time to put the finishing touches on Coach's Corner's patio and put a spotlight back on the Coosa River. This is the greatest view in all of Wetumpka. Everybody's gonna wanna have a reservation here. And that's awesome for their business. And it's awesome for Wetumpka. They have something really cool to be proud of. It's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, babe. Oh wow. Look what they have done. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, so amazing. Incredible. It's not even the same building anymore. What do you think? It is <laughs> incredible. Fantastic. It's like a pep yeah. rally. On it's the front of your building. It's a touchdown. Yes. That's, it's a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> the way Coach's Corner looked before, it couldn't have been less energetic. It was just time for your outside to look as good as your inside. Right. Well, you nailed it, that's for sure. We wanted to give you a new coat of paint that feels sporty, collegiate, and then your football field with your logo 
And then we added a little gold text at the top that's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, something that's funny, that makes people think, we should eat there. I think it's amazing. The colors, everything, it's an eye-catcher. To see it, it's just something we couldn't have done without y'all. I'll go see your patio. Are we allowed? You can go! Let's go. All right, baby, you ready for this? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Hello. This is incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. This is so elegant. It is. This bar is gorgeous. Hey, this is the longest bar in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll put it that is. on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's breathtaking. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Everything we did, we wanted it to feel like you are a part of this scenery. It is green like the trees and the grass. Yes. It has the rocks of the riverbed. The glass lets you see it all. The live edge feels like it's one of these trees laid down for you to eat on. I can't tell you how appreciative we are and how beautiful it is. I was going to tell myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs>